First time in 12 years, Georgia State House Republicans will have a new speaker. It's one of the two most powerful individuals in state government. 11 Alive's Doug Richards joining us now live to explain what that means for all of us, Doug. Yes, you know, last week, Georgia voters elected a whole slate of statewide office holders from the governor on down. The House of Representatives speaker, the speaker of the House, uh, is not a statewide office holder in that traditional fashion. And yet, even though he doesn't face voters statewide, he, ha he arguably has more clout than just about any of them. Before appearing in the House chamber today, John Burns had spent days seeking votes from his fellow House Republicans. Four rows behind him, Barry Fleming had done the same thing in an effort to become the next House Speaker. If you will allow me to serve as your speaker, I want you to come tell me the things that I don't want to hear. Fleming was an architect of last year's election bill, written after former President Trump falsely claimed the 2020 election was stolen. We've expanded the rights of law-abiding gun owners. We protected the unborn. Burns was seen as a consensus candidate after other potential rivals withdrew and threw their support to him. The Republican caucus chose Burns by secret ballot, bits of paper collected in buckets and hand counted moments later. The vote totals were also kept secret. Since 2010, David Ralston of Blue Ridge was the House Speaker. At the rostrum, he gaveled in legislation. The Speaker can also single-handedly stop legislation, something nobody else in state government can do. Even Governor Brian Kemp's vetoes can be overridden. To serve as Speaker of the House would be both a great honor and a tremendous responsibility. Burns declined to take questions until after his election as Speaker is formally approved when the full House convenes in January. So the Speaker of the House does not face voters statewide. It's not designed to do that, but I was curious to know uh, how often Burns faced voters and what happened. In his district near Statesboro, he ran 20 times since 2002 in primaries and general elections, and he was unopposed in 17 of those 20 races. So he's very successful electorally uh, where he comes from. Live at the Capitol, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.